you for joining us so quickly after the game. Uh, it must be really pleasing today to get off to, obviously, first game of the season to back up with a victory. Yeah, great. Big thing for us is obviously uh, nil again. So we want to make sure we keep that our goal line intact. Uh, we had a few changes this week, so I'm just really impressed how the girls have, have turned out. You mentioned it was pleasing to Neil Wigan. Just how much sort of emphasis have you put on that defensive performance? Because today it, it was virtually spotless. Yeah, we worked a lot about it in the week. Uh, I thought one of our undoings against Leeds, we didn't control the ruck area. We, we were off too quick. So today we've controlled that ruck area, hence what we get on the back of it. And again, it's, it's never easy to back up after winning a Challenge Cup final. You've only had one week to turn it around. Uh, you must be really pleased at the way they've come today and performed. Yeah, they're a special group of, of, of athletes, somebody I love working with. You know, they're so enthusiastic and they bring that every week. So that's the pleasing thing for me. Another big game coming up next week against the York City Knights. Obviously, the top four contenders from last season. How we feel going into that game next week on the back of today? Oh, we're definitely going into it on the right foot. Uh, we know it's going to be tough. Uh, we know it's going to be a really big ask and a big task. So, again, if we want to win the leagues, we, we need to make sure that we're up for this challenge. Derek, many thanks for joining us. All the very best for, for next week. We'll bring in Chris Ratcliffe now. Thank, Thank you, you, Derek. Cheers. Chris, thank you for joining us so quickly after the game. Um, just before we go into the logistics of the game, you lost Ellie Costello there in the second half through, through injury. First of all, how, how is she? Yeah, um, she's, she's got a bit of an knee injury, Ellie. Um, we're, we're not sure at this point. I, I was a bit disappointed with the actual incident, to be honest. I thought she was taken late. And uh, when, when, you, when you hit late, you're already relaxed. And I think that's what's happened. And, um, that's that's brought about a, uh, an injury which we hope's not too serious, but it could well be another another significant knee injury. There's obviously Chris a little bit of noise sort of outside the stadium just coming in, but we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do the best that we can. Um, you must be relatively pleased there with the second half performance. It looked at one point, I think it took 25 minutes before St. Helens scored their first try of the second half. So you, you showed a little bit of resilience there in the second half against an outstanding side. Yeah, we, we spoke a little bit at half time. I, I felt we'd, we'd perhaps gifted about 10 points in that, in that first half just from not really being smart enough. And I, I went right back to the, I think, one of our first couple of sets. We, we came out of our end fairly well and we had a, a really good long kick that found touch. Um, but then we weren't ready for the transition when it was a play the ball in the centre and, and I think that on the next set, St. Helens came up the field a little twos play and, and, and in for, for a, a score. So um, it, it was just a little bit of smarts that we were letting ourselves down and, and we're, we're catching us a little bit despite what was clearly a lot of effort from us. Um, and I think we, we did better at that in the second half, certainly certainly in that early spell. We, we were working a little bit more for each other and a little bit smarter and, and not giving those those little easy advantages that you can't afford to give a team of, of St. Helens class. Um, and and it, 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 we certainly worked a lot better as we went through that and then we just tied a little bit towards the end, I think. You talk, Chris, about putting those little things right. You introduced a lot of youth today to this side. You've now got two weeks, I think, before your next game against Huddersfield. Um, lots of positives from the second half today. I'm guessing that in that two weeks, you'll look to put those little things right and improve again in that performance against Huddersfield. Yeah, we will. Um, there's a few players I'll, I'll need to give some, some big raps to. I thought young Georgia Lake uh, on debut today, 17, and, and she's run as hard as, as anybody in, in the forwards. So um, little bits like that. And, and Becky Greenfield's been out for nearly eight months and was fantastic, I think, for us today as well. So give some of the, the players that big raps and then fix up some of the, the, the small things. Uh, I think we've planted a little bit too much in, in defence um, and, and just sometimes the punch in our attacking runs need, needs fixing up. But um, we'll work on those things over the next couple of weeks and we're ready for Huddersfield. 